Andreas Vance, just when we think we've heard all the arguments already on this issue, uh, Jack Smith comes through with another brief with new ways of saying these things that become ever more powerful every time he's forced to restate them. I think that that's right. You know, this is a technical legal brief, and Smith is making arguments predicated on what he hopes the Supreme Court will do, ruling that there's no immunity, and what he's afraid the court might do, ruling that there's limited immunity, in which case Smith says to the court, no matter what you decide about what immunity might exist, Donald Trump isn't entitled to any immunity. You should send this case back to the district court for trial because his conduct involves a purely personal conspiracy. And although we're entitled to use evidence of his official acts, we could try this case just as a private, unofficial acts conspiracy. So it's extremely well-crafted from a technical legal point of view. The language, though, is beautiful, Lawrence, and I'm struck, despite trying to read it with my professional hat on, how emotionally this uh -huh. brief hits. This is Jack Smith saying to the Supreme Court, please don't sacrifice the American experiment on the altar of Donald Trump. It is in, in many ways an emotional brief about what it means to be an American and to have no man be above the law in this country. And it is supported by other briefs uh, filed, including uh, by historians. This is what the historian's brief uh, filed today says. The founders' disinterest in taking up executive immunity is not surprising. The constitutional debate was framed by the Federalists, who sought to include an executive that was strong, but whose powers were not boundless, and those who were concerned that any executive would be too inherently dangerous. The Federalists retained their concern that a president must be subject to constraints on his ambition. They certainly were not advocating for increasing a, a president's privileges or immunities. The framers did not ignore the subject. They rejected it. On this point, there are no credible, competing, original understandings. Uh, and Joyce, as we know, the Republicans on the Supreme Court uh, claim that they believe uh, that original intent is what matters. They do, in fact, make that claim, and this brief is powerful on that point. This is leading historians, historians who look at and, and study what the Founding Fathers meant. And that's what the conservative majority on this court says matters to them. They've used that in other cases, including Dobbs, the abortion decision. The conclusion in this amicus brief is pretty startling. It's really across the board saying absolutely no immunity. This was not what the founding fathers meant the Constitution to mean. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.